incredible experience of a man who was left for dead after being hit by a drunk driver. Now he comes forward to share his heartwarming story of forgiveness and recovery. Good morning. Welcome to NTD. I'm Kevin Hogan. Good morning, and I'm Evelyn Lee. Today is Thursday, August 18th. Coming up, the incredible experience of a man left for dead after being hit by a drunk driver. Now he shares his heartwarming story of forgiveness and recovery. That's after we come back from the break. Welcome back. A success coach that works with CEOs, athletes and celebrities was almost killed when he was hit head on by a drunk driver while cycling across the UK. He documented his life changing experience every step of the way. He is now using his story of perseverance and forgiveness to help others achieve their goals. I literally have been running. Jean-Pierre de Villiers, or JP as many call him, is a mental performance coach that works with high-profile clients looking to push themselves to extraordinary levels. But JP's life has not been without its own challenges and adversity. His father took his own life when he was only 13. He later used that loss as motivation to give others the resources they need to be healthy and successful. Since a young age, JP says he always thought about others and feels a great importance in compassion. But I believe all of the problems in the world are a result of one thing, lack of compassion. JP often challenges his clients to choose a goal that will change them as a person when they reach it. One of his clients who lost his mother to cancer wanted to cycle the length of the UK. They set off together on a cycling challenge to raise money for cancer charities. On day 8 of that challenge, JP was hit head-on by a drunk driver going four times over the speed limit. He was left for dead on the side of the road with broken legs, a punctured lung, heart trauma and other internal injuries. During his painful recovery, JP held himself responsible for the accident. He decided not to blame the driver and keep power over his own life. He focused only on what he could control. Surrounding himself with people who inspired and motivated him, JP was not looking for pity, only encouragement. The man who hit him was eventually caught and tried in court. JP went to the sentencing to give a statement. In it, he told the man he forgave him, held no ill intention toward him, and felt nothing but love for him. And he said, Mr. De Villiers, I'm so sorry for what I've done for you and your family. He said, every day I think about you and I wish it was me. And he had a little tear and I had a little tear and he, and he put his hand on his heart and I put my hand on my heart and it was just beautiful. De Villiers says it was one of the greatest moments of his life. Imagine I chose not to say it, right? That's the power, that's the power of forgiveness. You know, it was just, it was amazing. After the trial, the man's lawyer approached JP. He walked up to me and he said, Mr. De Villiers, I've been a lawyer for 25 years. He said, I've never seen what you did. He said, thank you. And I didn't know but why it was being reported. But literally hours later, it was in the newspaper and this article just went viral of forgiveness. JP hopes his story can be a reminder to anyone going through a tough time in life that the experience is temporary. The spiritual warriors are made by adversity that challenges actually make you a better version of yourself then you can actually use every single bad thing that's ever happened to you, or is happening to you, or will happen to you in your life. He says those experiences don't have to define the rest of your life, and that it's a choice to make it a permanent thing or not. Just three months after the accident, he bought a new bike, even though he couldn't ride it. And everyone was like, what? You can't even walk. You're barely walking on crutches. But I just told them, it's because I want to see the bike every day. Around a year afterwards, he rode the bike for the first time since he was hit. Pushing himself in small increments, de Villiers celebrated each step as a small victory. Two and a half years later, he finished the 170 miles left in his cycling challenge with the friend he originally set out with. We made it to England! Wow. And last year, JP returned to the exact site of the accident. He then rode the exact route he originally planned out and arrived at Land's End in the south of England to finish his challenge. Wow. He really never gave up. His story is very inspiring, being able to overcome that type of adversity. Absolutely. And it sounds like he had a great attitude throughout this, his recovery, too. And I do think being able to forgive also makes 
life so much easier for yourself. So I'm glad to see people with such big hearts out there, really. Yeah.